Okay, so I'm here with the dad cup. Got coffee. We can uh, we can do this thing here. Maybe you got one of these USB disk drives. Got some important data on it, but it no longer is recognized by your computer when you plug it in. You got a problem. Uh, you can throw it away. Uh, then you lose all your data. You can send it back for warranty repair if it's still warrantied, uh, but you're still going to lose all your data. So what can you do? Um, they're not that expensive, so what I suggest we try is, uh, let's see if the disk drive inside is still good. Uh, what you might not know about these things is that virtually all of these things use a SATI disk drive inside them, um, so it's a serial interface device, and in fact um, you can plug that right into most modern computers and see if the disk drive is still good. So that's what we're going to do. Now we've got to get into this case. How are we going to do that? This is a Western Digital. It's a 250 gig passport. Um, most of these boxes aren't made to get into very easily uh, without busting them. Uh, we're going to pry this one apart here. Now what you want to do is uh, you've got a couple options. Uh, we can take the disk out, just plug it into a computer uh, SATI interface. Uh, another option we have is to buy another one of these and bust it apart and uh, see if, the, if you swap the drives it works. Um, a cheaper way to do that, buy yourself one of these replacement boxes. If I get this one open here, I got this one from Hong Kong. Uh, and it's actually made in Russia. Um, who the hell is Cyber Brand anyway? Um, here's the inside of it. Uh, there's the connector. It's a SATI2 connector, data and, uh, and power. Uh, this one has both a USB and a SATI connector on the outside, and there's a power supply connector. This is a 5 volt power supply, by the way. Um, back side here of the circuit board, you see the interface hardware. Um, you know, I paid $14 for this. Um, from Hong Kong, planning on waiting a month to get it, but uh, I'm counting on it working. Um, it looks like it's well made, the circuit board anyway. Plastic box, I don't know about that. It also came with a nice case. We don't need that. Um, you might need this. It came with a double USB thing and a mini USB. Uh, I suspect the double USB thing is because uh, maybe it needs more power than uh, a single USB will provide. Uh, we might need that. It also came with uh, a SATI cable because it has a SATI connector on it. And uh, maybe you can see these things. Uh, you know there's a flat SATI, a straight one. Uh, that goes into the, the uh, Notice the, uh, the connector in there. If you see that, that's a straight connector, no notch in it. Um, and uh, the other end has a notch in it. So you know, there's two different kinds of SATI connectors. There's uh, the straight one and then the one with a notch in it. We might need that. It also came with a USB to, uh, to uh, DC connector thing. Well, that goes into here, so like that. Okay, so if we need external power, whether we're using the SATI or the USB, we can use this thing, plug it into another USB port. So we might keep that. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is open this case up here. Now, about the only way to do it is to get in there and pry at that thing and try to find out where the thing, there it goes. Okay, so it's popping out there a little bit. This is not that complicated a case. But we got a little flat blade in there and we're just going to work it in there until we get that thing out of there. Bear with me here. Ah, there, it's popping out. This one's not so bad. It's not too difficult to get into it. Ah, it's coming out. There we go. I like that. This one's not so bad. Get around the back there. You can see under this rubber thing, there's our USB connector. Someplace there's an LED right there. So we got, got that partly open. We can see our disk drive in there. Someplace we got a flashlight here. Hold on. Get that flashlight where to go. Okay, we can see our disk drive in there and the circuit board in there. Okay, hopefully that shows up all right. Keep working that off. There, that comes off, that comes off. If we can avoid busting this, we'll do that. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, there we got it out. That one came out. Not too bad. There's our disk drive. This one happens to be a Western Digital 2500 BEAS, 250 gigabytes. 
two and a half inch notebook size computer uh, disc and uh, you know it's just held in there by friction there's nothing that little rubber feet okay so uh, what I'm counting on is the fact that this thing doesn't work because this USB interface went bad on me. so we can unplug that come on out of there, there. okay and uh, this is just a regular old disk drive um, power connector for SATI 2 there and the uh, the data connector uh, you can interface that with just about anything you want uh, on, an, on most modern computers you, you can really plug it right in if you don't want to do that go this route here you can buy these things for uh, about thirty five dollars at Staples and uh, well maybe uh, um, Copy Max or Office Max or something like that I've seen them uh, empty replacement things like that Okay, so now we're going to just assemble this thing here. Uh, I left the screws in the other room. Hold on. If I had them here at first place, we'd be all set, wouldn't we? Okay, so we got some assembly screws there that I took out to put this thing together. Okay, so um, you just slide that new drive onto this, the drive onto this new board. Yeah, it's Russian made and might not fit perfect. There it goes. Okay, so we plug that in there um, and then uh, it looks like what they want is there's some screws over here and then this cheap case. There's some notches and slots in there. We just match that thing up there. It's, you might need to take a a knife, you know, and carve out those things a little bit. Uh, flashing is pretty poor on this, but it's just a case. So now we're going to fit that in there, and you can see, okay, the, I popped the USB connector there through. Hopefully I got that in the right place. There, there's a SATI connector, there's a power thing, and that thing just dropped in there. Okay, and uh, you see the back here where the holes, uh, you know, three of them line up, the fourth one doesn't. Well, you know, three hits and we're pretty near to home base, so we'll just use the three we got there. Uh, it came with Phillips head screwdriver screws on here, so get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Don't screw around. Don't be stupid and use a flat blade screwdriver. Um, and just, it just screws those in, in there. There's a little Phillips, it's a tapered thing there. A couple of Phillips screws in there. I'm pretty slow at doing this. Hopefully you've got enough video, but that last one in there. And uh, don't bang up the circuit board. Um, I don't know how good that circuit board is, but you don't want to knock those little parts off, service mount parts off, or you're wasting your time here. Uh, make sure that the things are poking through the holes there, or at least clear enough that you can get them through. You can't ask for too much more of this Russian-made thing here, but. Um, and then the way this thing goes together, it's pretty simple. That's we, we could test it like this, but I'm just going to put the whole thing together, and you know, if it doesn't work, then I'm taking it apart again. Uh, but this is the best way to see if the data on that thing is still good is to plug it back in another USB connector. Okay, and this box came with also two little screwdrivers. Uh, you know, they're they're okay. I mean, for this. Now you got these little tiny screws to put this case. We're going to do this thing the right way. I mean, we're going to put those screws in there and uh, put that case all together. One more screw. Okay, so there we got that thing all set together there. Now, best way to make sure this thing works, get the dad cup out of the way there. We'll save that box or something later. Um, let's, uh, let's plug it in and see if it works, okay? So, uh, best way to do that. We'll get a computer up here and we'll plug it in and see what we get. I just got a cheap camera here, so I don't have it hooked up to the computer, so uh, we're just going to 
open a uh, browser window here close up some crap and go to my computer Okay, so we'll turn that around there and let's see what happens when we plug that baby in there. Okay, we have our disk drive here. Well, I don't know whether it'll spin up this drive with only one USB connector. But we'll try it. Well, this might not power from this notebook computer anyway. But we'll give it a try. Well, you see there, we got a green light and a flashing red light. Okay, it looks like there's not enough power from this notebook computer to spin that up all by itself. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to power it from this DC connector from another computer. That ought to work just fine. Not all notebook computers can spin up these drives. So we'll unplug that thing and then we'll just power the drive externally. Okay, so we got our green and red light steady there. See, red light went out, it's spinning, I can hear it. Looks good there. I got the beep beep from the computer telling me the USB thing was recognized. I just kicked the camera there. Hopefully we're still lined up. There you can see it's doing something. We don't want that autoplay thing. We don't want that. Here I see... Move the camera over there a little bit. highlighted my passport there and uh, look at all the stuff that's on there okay two hundred and fifty uh, gigabytes okay so looks like we're good to go okay so get this computer out of the way here now so I showed you how to open up a disk drive that you can't get to work on your USB interface uh, bust it open take the drive out of it get yourself another box with a good USB interface in it plug it in and see if your disk is still good let's get that over where I can see where I'm doing there